Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ethan Bernard, and in today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Kuva Brahma. The Kuva Brahma is a new Grenier bow that DE added to Warframe, and it acts like the lens in a lot of ways, but I gotta tell you guys, this is almost a direct upgrade in every single way I can look at it. Now, you can see here, when you pull the bow, the arrow has a pretty steep drop to it, to be expected, but it explodes almost on impact, and it also lets out a series of mini explosions alongside it. After it blows up, it'll toss out a few little explosions with it. Now, using the secondary fire button, you can actually explode this whenever you want to. It doesn't have to impact anything, and the majority of this bow's damage comes from the explosion itself, and not the actual arrow hitting an enemy. So you don't really have to worry about hitting enemies with this. It's not a weapon that requires precision. It's literally something that you can just spam across the map. And once we get some multi-shot on there, you'll see the real capability of this thing. Now, you can already see right off the bat, it holds almost three times the ammo that the lens does. And the explosions are instant. You don't have to wait for that charge up. That being said, this is a Kuva weapon. So to get it, you do have to spawn and kill a specific Kuva Lich. And depending on the Warframe that you spawn your Lich with will depend on the elemental bonus that this weapon gets. For the purpose of this video, and for the purpose of my personal interests, I spawned one with an electric bonus. The one in particular we're going to be modding today has a 55% electric bonus on it. And I'm going- I did that so I could use it with magnetic, corrosive, and radiation all without having to use two mods. Even though, we'll probably put a couple elemental mods on this thing anyway. For the purpose of getting the most we can out of this weapon, I put 5 Forma on it so we can get it to that max rank of 40. This is a system that all of the Kuva weapons have. You put 5 Forma on them, they will go up 2 levels each time, maxing out at 40 instead of the typical level 30 that you will see most weapons go to. Now, starting off here, before we get into this build, folks, if you guys end up enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay? It's free, it helps me out a lot, so if you enjoy it, make sure to do that. Now, hopping right in here, for the base mods on this weapon, we're going to be using Serration, Heavy Caliber, and Split Chamber. Heavy Caliber is a mod that you don't need because this weapon has an insane damage output, but there are absolutely no negatives to putting this on here. It's basically just adding a second Serration onto here because, like I said, this is not a weapon that requires precision, and this doesn't really do anything to the weapon negatively. It just adds a crap ton of damage. Alongside these, you can see here, folks, we have a 35% base critical chance, which means we're going to be using Point Strike and Vital Sense as our base crit mods. These add all that sweet, sweet critical chance and critical damage that we need to make this weapon that much better. Now, since we do have an elemental bonus on here to get too corrosive for the purpose of testing, technically, all we need to do is add one mod that gets it immediately too corrosive, but in an effort to get that stats chance up from 36%, we're also going to add on one of the 60-60 mods here, just to add a little bit to it, okay? In this one, particularly if you have the electricity, you could do either high voltage or malignant force. It will not matter, they will both end up doing the same thing. Now, for the purpose of getting the most damage out of this main build, I'm just gonna hop Vigilante Armaments onto this last slot. A little more multi-shot doesn't hurt, and it actually gives the weapon a chance to fire three arrows instead of two, as you can see right there, which is pretty dang handy. For the purpose of testing, folks, we're spawning in eight level 120 corrupted heavy gunners, and instead of going to the front of them today, we're going to be using this pillar up here, because honestly, shooting them head-on isn't exactly how we get the most out of this, and I'm going to show you exactly how much damage we can do just by firing a few fully charged shots into the middle of this group. Look at the damage output, folks. We literally, without any effort and without any haste, deleted an entire group of level 120 corrupted heavy gunners. Now we'll do that again, but we'll do it head on just for the purpose of testing since this is how we usually use the weapons. You can see here, the actual arrow itself isn't what's dealing the majority of the damage, the explosion is, but the damage this thing deals, it deals literally hundreds of thousands of damage per second if you're firing into groups of enemies and it's absolutely crazy there's not much more you can do to make this weapon better when rivens are concerned i would recommend multi-shot and something like heat maybe if you want a combo or more crit chance to push it over a hundred any of that stuff will work but i can tell you right now folks 
for everything this game has to offer, a ribbon is absolutely not necessary. Now you can see we do have 15 rounds, so ammo can be a little bit of an issue, but the drop is also a little bit of an issue. So let's talk about this Exilus slot right here. There are two options that I'm going to recommend to you. First one is Terminal Velocity. You can see by adding this, it actually makes them travel a bit further because they will be traveling faster, and that is something that will make the weapon much more viable at a mid to long range. That being said, if you want to fully negate the ammo issue, since this weapon does use sniper ammo, you can hop on Vigilante Supplies there, which will stack the primary set bonus with the Vigilante set that gives a chance to earn critical hits from primary weapons. It'll stack with Vigilante Armaments, and it will convert unused ammo pickups into the ammo type this gun needs. If you have this on there, it will literally never need any sort of ammo. You should be good as long as you're running around killing enemies. Look at the damage on this thing, folks. Two shots, two or three shots kills that entire group with ease without any Warframe buffs or anything. Now, there's those of you out there who love your bleed builds. I gotta say, you guys comment a lot on my builds with these bleed suggestions. I don't like bleed builds, but if you guys like it, I will give it to you. All we've done here, literally, and we're gonna have two different versions of this, so don't worry, is we've swapped out Vigilante Armaments for Hunter Munitions because this is the freaking mod that everyone seems to love so much, even though literally pretty much anything you fight in this game is gonna get one shot by this thing. Let's look at see what this build can do. Look at the bleeds, people. Doesn't hurt anyone to have those bleeds on there, I'll tell you that. It just eats away at them. One more should finish the rest of them off. Maybe not this guy. He's sitting over here unaffected. You guys get the idea. Ton of damage. I find bleed builds honestly completely unnecessary on this, but if you do want to increase it a little bit more, you can swap out high voltage or whatever 6060 mod you have here for rhyme rounds. This should turn it into viral, which will then stack with the slash procs and kill the enemies even faster from those bleeds. Let's look, take a look over here. Look at the bleeds on that guy absolutely eating through them anyone who's hit by the initial explosion and gets a slash proc is going to just get eaten by those bleed look at that it eats right through them folks so yes a bleed build is viable but i gotta be honest with you people this gun anything you fight in this game will most likely be one shot by this and even having heavy caliber on there isn't necessary. You could swap that out for something like speed trigger or any fire rate mod. If you want to get a little extra damage on there, you can be shooting them a little faster than normal. But I got to tell you, I was pleasantly surprised by the weapon's charge rate because honestly, this is much faster than the lens as it is. This is without any fire rate mods. The lens takes like four or five times longer than that to charge up. So I am very surprised by how well this weapon performs, the ammo capacity, the charge rate, everything. Anyway guys, let's take a look at it one time with just some crazy buffs here, shall we? So I made a video a few months ago called the Master of Arms build. This is a Saren build that adds a 268% corrosive damage buff to your weapon. So we're going to go back to the main damage build here, we're going to activate that Venom dose and we're gonna see exactly what kind of damage we're getting out of this thing because it's pretty crazy Look at that Anyone who was hit by the initial explosion just died immediately Anyway, you guys don't need me to tell you that this thing is absolutely crazy. You've already seen what it can do Anyway guys, let me know what you guys think of the Kuva Brahma down in the comments below Let me know what you think of the builds. Did you like it? Did you hate it? This gun is absolutely crazy and I highly recommend going out and getting it as fast as you can. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It's free and helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. It's been a minute, but I'm in it to win, and I ain't finished. This is the starting gun, and I'ma run it to the front until I'm number one, son. This is a rhythmic defibrillation, innovative old school to thrill the nation. I've been patiently waiting and building steam, but I'm back with the bounce like a trampoline. Oh, please, I feel it bubbling up. It's ten times bigger, but.